Hello friend, in this video we will discuss what is meant by k factor and y factor in sheet metal and uh, why it is important and how we can calculate it. So let's start the video. So in the picture you can see that the detail view of the bend is showing here. Okay, so this view is only for the bend only detail view of the bend and if you see here the uh, uh, develop length or the straight length you can see or the develop length is showing here okay if we unbend the uh, bend okay so first condition is the bend condition and second condition is the flat condition okay so in this condition you can see the red line shows the neutral axis okay and uh, the delta is shows the position of the neutral axis from the inside portion okay because of this bending sometimes uh, the if you in the flat condition this length is uh, important okay so this length is defined uh, we defined with the help of bend allowance and the bend deduction because the accurate calculation of bend allowance and bend deduction is very important to uh, get the exact bend or or to uh, get the exact position of the bend k factor is a very important factor and uh, from the k factor we can determine the bend allowance and uh, and the bend allowance is very important for calculating the actual length required for the bend okay so the k factor value it depends upon the material uh, thickness of the material and the bend radius and generally if you see the k factor value is varies from 0.3 to 0.5 okay so the k factor is a constant uh, constant factor okay and it is a ratio of position of neutral axis to the material thickness and y factor is a ratio of actual material thickness to the theoretical material thickness okay and it is also known as the bend deduction factor or bend allowance factor so the y factor is uh, used to determine the actual length of the material needed for the bend k factor y factor bend allowance bend deductions are uh, very important uh, for uh, producing the precise and accurate sheet metal part because uh, this factor calculate the length of material uh, required for the bend and the position of the bend so the incorrect calculation of this factor k factor y factor or bend allowance bend deduction if you calculate incorrectly then it can result in the waste of material time and the money so so we need to calculate this factor correctly okay so let's see how to calculate the k factor and y factor okay so k factor we can calculate with the help of this formula t plus r divided by t okay where t is the uh, uh, thickness of the material r is the inside bend radius and y factor we can calculate uh, is pi divided by 2 into k factor or pi by 2 into r plus kt so you can use this formula for calculating the y factor and for k factor t plus r divided by t so these are the two formulas to calculate the k factor and the y factor so friend i hope uh, you like the video and uh, you get the better understanding of uh, k factor and y factor and how to calculate the k factor and y factor so thank you for watching see you in the next video